The tarot card for the full moon on July 3rd, 2023 is Kadga, K-H-A-D-G-A. She wields the holy sword of divine severance, empowering the soul in radical letting go. She instills the courage to bear the pain of loss and the wisdom to realize the secret blessing that can only arise when we embrace change. Where our strength of will may falter, she intervenes to ensure we do not sabotage our ultimate fulfillment and spiritual progress. She will not allow our souls to be ensnared in any kind of deception or trapped in fear. She is the liberator and her sword clears the path, revealing truth. Kadka is a Sanskrit word for sword. Devi Kadgahasta means the divine mother who wields the sword. What is this sacred weapon? The sword severs, breaks and destroys. It can be a symbol for truth and the need of the soul to let something or someone go, even though the attachment of the ego may demand that we remain connected out of fear of loss or fear of the pain of loss. Devi Kali's sword is the symbol of her will and her attainment. Her sword knows which attachments require severing and when and how to obtain such a release. Even when the holding on, perhaps out of fear or guilt or doubt, denies us the capacity to even consider walking away, her will prevails. Sometimes we invest in a relationship, a situation, a place, or even an opportunity because we feel it is needed and beneficial only to realize later, if at all, that we have outgrown it. Then it becomes, at best, something slowing down our awakening and at worst, a direct impediment to our spiritual growth. Regressive tendencies creep up on us slowly so that we don't realize how much damage is being done over time. Even if we have a sense something is not quite right, our awareness can never be complete when we are determined to remain attached and unwilling to see any truth that threatens that attachment. Any unwavering desire for a particular outcome locks us into an unwillingness to see the truth that would shift our perspective and open us to a superior outcome. We may admit something is wrong, but choose to believe that if we just change ourselves somehow or work harder to heal the other person, then the negativity will transform into something positive. We then become trapped in an impossible situation of our own creation. Knowing something is not working, but as we are not capable of letting go, fooling ourselves into thinking we can heal and transform through methods that cannot accomplish the task. When Kali Devi's sword appears as a message, She advises that whatever we are struggling with can and should be handed over to a higher power. She will sever the threads of attachment and we can trust that if someone or something is meant to remain in our lives or to return according to divine love and wisdom, then it shall be. If we need to go against divine love to keep something, It can only create suffering. She will not only remove that impediment on your path, but support you. So the release brings you joy rather than endless sorrow. The Oracle of Kaka denotes divine workings in a struggle you are moving through at this time. 
there is a predestined series of events due to occur as orchestrated at a higher level. The timing will incorporate the paths of those you have sold contracts with and the movement of the collective consciousness. For you to be at the appropriate vibration to move in harmony with where you need to be and whom you need to be to interact with certain releases that have to take place now. You can now trust in the doors that close just as much as in the doors that will open as a result. This is a prayer. Beloved Divine Mother Kali, Devi Kargahasta, you wield the divine sword of protection that severs attachments and allows for spiritual progress and freedom for the heart to find and express divine fulfillment. May the process of letting go bring me peace and receptivity to the great blessings you generously bestow upon me for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Shama Kali. At this time, you may wish to take this time to meditate on what you would like to release. You can use the Savasana pose, the corpse pose, lying down on your back with your arms and legs slightly apart. If this can be done in a slightly darkened room, that is optimal. Instead, you could rest an eye pillow or a lightweight scarf over your eyes, or you could do this meditation seated if you prefer. Notice your breath and allow yourself to physically, emotionally, and mentally let go, becoming pleasantly heavy and relaxed. You may sense stillness or begin to notice pain or tension as you become more present. Be with whatever is happening without judgment as you continue to breathe in and out. As you rest and let go, you are allowing for the grace of Kali Ma to gently and firmly clear and support your being. If you sense you are unable to let go at a deeper level, be kind to yourself. Kali's patience is unending. She knows that when you have had enough of the pain, you will be ready for her grace. And until that time, you are learning. Rest here for as long as it is best for you. And when you are ready to complete your process, slowly arise. Place your hands in prayer at your heart, bowing your head to honor the divine wisdom within the temple of Kali that exists within your heart. You have completed your healing prayer and meditation. I recommend creating your list. Allow your heart to speak without judging what's coming up for you. And I am going to be posting a fire puja on our Patreon on all tiers. And you want to sit with those flames and with your list in hand. And as those flames are burning, you can tear that list into shreds one by one. Know that while you are doing this, it is very important that you do not allow yourself to be triggered or get angry once you are done. Sometimes we undo our own spiritual healing by being triggered into reactivity. So you want to hold in your vortex this cord cutting, this release of energy that no longer serves you. If you have an athame or a dagger or a sword, you could use that to be the symbolic representation of divine severance and let it sit wherever you are going to be for your full moon ceremony. 
as a reminder that you are not taking forward with you what is no longer serving your highest purpose. This puja, which basically means a fire ceremony, is going to be available at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on July 2nd. If you are already a member of Patreon, click on the link and you can watch the puja live. Pay close attention to the flames because within those flames, there may be a message for you. This could show up as colors. This could show up as the dance of the flames changing. Sometimes you can call out what's on your list as the fire is burning because our words are also our sword. 